Guys, welcome back to another beautiful video. This is Back to the Terror, and this is baby. It's an iPad Pro. First generation 2015. Massive 12.9 inches screen. Stay tuned. We'll actually see what is this capable of. So, guys, here it is, baby. A beast of a device. Is the ancient. <laughs> Classic iPad Pro from 2015 release on November 11, 2015. It's the first generation of iPad Pros, guys. This one is huge. It's heavy. It's, it has this uh, huge plate metal body, you know? But yeah, it's beautiful. It feels great. It has a big bezels as well, but man, the screen, the touch screens are really responsive. This model is a uh, 128 GB Wi-Fi plus LTE connectivity it has the home button as well with the fingerprinting reader is amazing it's really responsive it's really quick i like it the only down side of this one is the 60 hertz refreshed screen okay sorry back in the day was the the norm right the standard the standard was like that guys so this one i'm using it for the productivity entertainment some gacha games as well, like this one, or play. But yeah, uh, it's beautiful. It works great with really good games, good gacha games, popular like Genshin Impact, Star Raid, um, Honkai, I think it's the name, and other ones. But yeah. All right, guys. Talking about the display. Well, the display is beautiful. It has a resolution of 2732. Um. 2048 i think it's a 60 hertz refresh rate i think and it has a 240 ppi guys with a maximum of 400 nits when the brightness is super high you know super high and this one is uh, super good it's compatible with the, the first generation of apple pencil guys which works pretty super smooth in this device it's perfect this this retina screen is perfect for obviously watch videos watch movies take notes work on it everything guys the colors everything is good except by obviously the refresh rate 60 hertz was like just the norm that back in the day i think connecting cables to it and our devices it's really simple it's working really good but yeah you can see me right now i'm using my a cable for the just typing tests right just this typing test in this monkey type website beautiful but yeah guys this one as i told you before performs really good by searching for example doing some research online watching some videos taking some notes taking some notes sorry taking some notes watching movies entertainment it's really really good now why i choose to actually get this one in 2024 well i just need one device to check my notes check some the uh, emails I use other apps like ChatGPT, for example, uh, to support me in my work, for example. Really, really good. Performs really good. Works right. Sometimes Safari just lags, but it's okay, guys. I don't, I, I don't mind it, right? And one of the things I like it is that this big, big stream. For you, for example, if you are like, trying to digitally draw, for example, going to do your drawing uh, journey or even a uh, 3d modeling because i i heard this one has like um, i haven't tried them but be beautiful great 3d apps to scoop some 3d models right the colors are really good guys uh, but i think my camera is not really good at picking them up okay but yeah they look amazing in real life okay now I have other devices like this Samsung Galaxy S3 tablet. It's really small. This one is, I think, almost 10 inches. I don't remember, but yeah, look at this. It's really good to read. But this one, look at this. It's massive compared to this one. And the Samsung is really working really good. I have another tablet here. This one is a Doogie. Doogie T20 Ultra. 12 inches displayed, like a while. Sorry for that, guys. And it's really good, but yeah you can see clearly the massive comparison of these tablets with the ipad pro and the bright really very good okay let's be get back to the performance and our features this one for example it has a cheap a9x 
64 architecture and it has a uh, 4 gigabytes of solid RAM, SD RAM, I think, every damn. SD RAM, sorry. And it's working really good for multitasking. Watch some videos, watch some movies, watch some series, playing games, drawing. Really, really good, okay? Of course, new modern devices have more RAM and better chipsets. The ability to use the first generation of Apple Pencils as well, with the first generation of iPad Pros, are really good. The only bad thing is that to charge this one, you have to plug in, in the lighting port of the tablet, okay? So it's funny. It's funny. I think they, nobody is they, they, different, of course. Um, also for this kind of like Apple Pencil from the, at that time, you have an adapter now. But yeah. Yeah. These models are really bad. Um, it was really innovative back in the day, but yeah. Okay. So now you can see my drawing skills, guys. So I'll, I'll tell you, I want to draw this one as well. But yeah, it's been like many years that I haven't drawn. It many, many years, guys. So don't mind me, okay? Don't mind me. <laughs> tell me in the comment section, guys, if I should go back to try to draw, okay? My drawing career. If you are starting working on your journey, to be an instructor, this device will help you guys. Now, YouTube works really good, okay? Some people say that it's better to actually watch the videos on Safari with an app blocker, but the app of YouTube is really good, okay? I really like it, so tech power, Magnus Editor. Make sure to actually subscribe and leave a like, guys. Support the channel. I love to see these, video see these beautiful videos of mine. <laughs> and of course, to make them. So, Guys, talking more about the performance, this device uh, can play Genshin Impact and other games, but for example, new ones from this company, like Sunland Sound Zero, one boot, okay? They, uh, this device is going to refuse to run them. Another game is not the same company, but it is a um, similar game to Genshin, Wuthering Waves, one boot, okay? I mean, it's, it's not going to run. You can install them, but it's gonna go wrong. Okay? No, nothing. It's gonna crash. It's gonna actually um, throw you back, drop you back to the home screen. Okay? But yeah, look at this massive, beautiful device. Let's take some hot, hot close ups from this device. Look at it. I like it. Okay? I tried to use Lightroom, for example, and it's working really good. Um, I haven't tried to actually did some videos in this one, only with CapCap. It was really good. The experience was best. Everything is really, really amazing. I like the um, this app that Apple has for browsing files. It's really good. Uh, uh, and Windows, I think, is Explorer. Explorer. But then, then an iOS, Mac OS, and iPad OS. I don't know what is the name. I think it's the administrator like files. But yeah. So I'm going to leave you with the sound check, okay? This one has four speakers, quad speakers, okay? Stereo quality, okay? When you're in a landscape, okay. or using a landscape, you have two to the left and two to the right, okay? And they sound really good. So I'm going to leave you with the sound of these beautiful games, okay? All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm just working on my videos right here. I wonder if the place that where I can actually have some entertainment or maybe play some games that they have to play. You know, they have to play. But yeah, gacha games, guys. Because I love my anime girls. I have my anime girl here. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go straight to the um. Some some of you are here because you you want to see if this device which is really pretty pretty affordable can run with you back and they can right? it, it, it's really good okay it, it, it's so so good it's smooth it's in high resolution i think you, i lowered the shadows a little bit i don't remember but yeah really good i want to actually fight some of these bosses back in the day i haven't played this game in a long time you know like maybe two three yards no two yards 
Yeah. So um, I just had my basic like um, first team, I think. But yeah, sometimes it lags a little bit with the ultimate guys, but most of them, the gameplay is really good this map. Okay. So I really recommend you to actually get this um, a controller. Because, uh, well, for example, for me, I'm not like super used to or comfortable with the touching, touching buttons, okay? Touching controls. No, I don't like it. Now, okay, guys, <clears throat> the audio is pretty good, as you can actually hear. Okay? Uh, the sensation of uh, watching some media on the air is really good, okay? Really, really good. Very life and charging well. Very life is um, it's decent, okay? It's decent, but most of the time I have a uh, connected, okay? Uh, I have a fast charger, a super fast charger, so it charges really quick with the iPad, okay? And I'm using um, the or uh, sorry, I'm using the original cable, but yeah. So the um, the battery, I think it has the capacity of the ten thousand and three hundred and seven milliampers, and um, I think it, it's up to eight hours of work on it. Okay, and it's really good. Okay, I mean it works really good. Uh, when I'm playing like games like Nikki, like this one, and, and you can see it right now on the screen, it runs uh, super fast. It, it, that's a reality because this game is like. A, very modern and uh, obviously it works really good to be honest and the battery just died with it in a few hours okay so I mostly don't play this game but it looks great <laughs> it looks great right it's really good I used to play the um, one of the oldest games from this company it's an Aquarium company I think it was a uh, destiny child again the, the name of the game it was really good, I like it, right? <laughs> I played on my phone back in the day, like, mm, five years ago, more than five years ago, I think. <laughs> yeah, so this one is really good. I, I heard that this game is really, really amazing, and it looks beautiful, and it has really good waifus, of course. But yeah. So I'm gonna try to actually show you the performance of this game. For that one's the one, then. Um, one of the good things is that the game is... Only play on vertical. Uh, I think the the battles you can play in landscape, but it's meant to actually be played on vertical. So this screen is really good for this game, and this one is really good as well. It looks really good with this big screen. The only thing is that this game is only playable in vertical. Okay, I like that because this device is really big. It's um, it's massive. It's massive. I mean, it looks great vertical. It looks amazing. But when I'm holding these bites, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm gonna give you the moment to actually just enjoy the, the video of this beautiful game. These beautiful pictures and meshes of this game. I really recommend you to actually try this game. It's really good. But yeah, the, all these games are gacha games, right? Sometimes you have to spend, spend some money, but I haven't spent any money on this one. You can use the arcades. Apple Arcade, arcade uh, subscription service, or you can download some emulators, right? Like the Delta emulator, great application, guys. You can try it right now. It's for free. Obviously, you you need to look for the rooms on outside, of course. <laughs> but yeah, the, the the capability to be a retro console is really massive. This amazing device can room. Um, Nintendo 64 games, DS games, NES games, Game Boy, Get Boy Advance games, or retro console games. Flawlessly. Super smooth. I'm playing Castle Blind right now. This version is from the um, GBA, Game Boy Advance. You can also connect a controller with it, with the device, okay? Like, I'm, I wanna show you, I wanna show you. So, I have my PS4 controller right here. I'm just gonna connect it via Bluetooth, and it goes over. It's gonna be super responsive, like mm, almost none input lag. Okay, a little bit. No, almost none. Okay, okay, a little bit. All right, guys. So 
as you can see I'm trying to actually write something with the Apple Pencil right here that it's working really good. It's really, really, really good. Uh, the sensation to actually draw some notes with the Apple Pencil is super good. Super good. You can use the, the, the option, the feature as well to actually digitalize the text. Like, uh, I don't know how they call it, but you write it and it appears on the screen, okay? You can erase with the up and pull zoom. You can uh, draw some space as well. Select some text as well. You can do a lot of stuff. Okay. But yeah. Um, it lasts good. Okay. The battery of this up and pull zoom is not new as well, but it really good. Okay. With your family reunions, for example, and your parents, fuck. <laughs> you can play uh, with this one, with the nephews, for example, with our like a uh, cousin as well. Just play retro games that you love, like Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, for example. Great games, great games. Okay, Pokemon games. I used to love Pokemon games. I make Game Boys, but yeah, uh, the, this console is really worth it for 2024, especially if you want a retro console. Um, I don't recommend you to actually get this one from. Uh, um, new refurbished, for example, or renewed, it has to be used and in great conditions. Okay, I get this one for 70, 80, 80 dollars, and it was a dead deal. Okay, and it's working really good. So, you have this the opportunity to find out so someone that sells theirs in great conditions, go for it, it's really good now. Only for productivity, like checking emails, writing down some notes, uh, get some research, for example. I uh, sometimes write my scripts on my tablets. I'm going to try to use this one for that. Um, play some games, watch some videos, do research, all that. Okay. Um, but yeah, this this device is absolutely good. It's a beast of the device, even though it's 2024. Okay, obviously, you want to edit photos, you want to edit videos. I think it would be better option to get um, a mobile phone 2018 or an M1. Well, okay, but used or go for a MacBook. Okay, that will be great as well. But for me, I love tablets. Tablets are pretty portable, you know? And I love them. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is your boy, Magnus Dieter. You're in tech power. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Leave a like, comment in the comment section. And obviously, don't forget to check the description. There's some links there. Follow them, guys. And obviously, watch my other videos, of course. Guys, thank you so much for being it here. I wish you the best, I wish you a great day, and the next review, okay? Bye guys, bye.